Welcome back you guys. So, I have some good news. So, like I was saying, I am really into 3D printing, so I got a lot of 3D printer parts. And this right here, I actually have two of them. There are They are the E3 V6 hot ends for like the Prusa 3D printers or like the A Anet A8 3D printers. So I got two of these basically, but I'm um, just using this one and I have took I took out the nozzle that was already in it right here and I put one of the um nozzles that I replaced off of the um longer 3D printer that I made a video about. So you can see the hole is actually really big right over here. I'm not sure why that is and what exactly happened. I just think that since it's brass, the filament that was running through it just opened the hole up a little bit here. But either way, the good news is I have the nozzle placed inside of the hot end um, block, heater block with the heater cartridge in place. And then I have unscrewed the heater block a little bit from the casing of it. And I was able to place the heat, the thermistor, basically the heating sensor in between the heater block and the actual um, cooling area for the E3 V6. And with that, I actually have brought many years ago, I got two of these. Well, two extra ones. I actually brought like one, two, three, four, five. I brought five of these because I got um, these are from Lowe's and I bought a lot of them. And I actually made like a little shelf on my wall, wall, wall over here. You can see there's three of them on there, but um, so I got this one and I have another one, so I got two more of these. And what's good is that the hole is big enough for me to put the nozzle in. And the nozzle is long enough to actually attach to the aluminum carriage or cartridge for the heating element. So I'm holding using my pliers here with some um, rubber handles so that way I can actually show you. Let me just pause the video. I'm going to turn on everything is the power supply is already on. I just need to press that button right there to turn on the heating um, element. Of the thermostat basically and then you'll be able to see that it's going to heat up to 119 degrees celsius and then you'll hear the switch the relay switch turn on just to do the setup and then it'll shut off when it's done when it gets up to 119 degrees so just give me a second let me turn it on and i'll um start recording that part all right guys so i got it on and all i gotta do is press that select set button really quick sorry there we go now we've got it set and now it's going to start heating up and you can already see that it's jumping so that is 6 51 degrees celsius 53 oh no 60 i'm sorry it's kind of hard to see it i'm gonna just get my light out of the way here 71 degrees and it's still climbing and that is heating up right there in that heater and cartridge compared to with connected to the nozzle and this metal bracket basically so it's still heating up and you can see right here it's at 81 degrees celsius 83 84 so it's just climbing up pretty quick because it's still on it hasn't shut off you can see out is the red led light is on and we're at 104, 105, 108, 110, 11, oh, 111, 113. So it's just taking a second. It doesn't take too long. I wasn't able to get, I did get up to 120 before, but now that I have everything connected, it isn't letting me go past 119 for some reason. But you just heard that it shut off on its own. And right now it's just waiting for the temperature to drop basically below that 119 degrees Celsius. And then it'll turn it back on. So you'll be able to hear that 
if I drop, I have a bottle of water that I can pour a little water on there. But now, see, it dropped. So now it come back on on its own. But I also have a bottle of water that I can pour a little water on here just to cool it down. And then to turn the, um, turn it back on to start heating again. And now it got down to 115, 117 degrees Celsius, 119. Now it just shut back off. So it's going to keep turning on and turning off just to know that it's set for that 119 degrees Celsius. And it's working. So I hope you guys are liking the information in the video. And if you like this, I'm gonna, I will definitely make more videos about this. And hopefully setting up my own um, type of heating um, setup for, the, for me melting plastic bottles and turning them into filament. But uh, let me know what you guys think. And hopefully you like this video. And it just turned back on. <laughs> it went down to 116. So that's good. It, it keeps on reading the heating element. Just to make sure that it turns on when it needs to. So that's a really good thing. So I actually like that a lot. Because if I do try to make my own filament using plastic pot bottles. I'll just shut back off. But if I do make my own filament using like plastic bottles then I'll be able to use this and I'll be able to read and know the information that it needs to be set for. And then all I was going to do is I got some um, 12 volt f fans like for computers, like PC fans, and that will help to cool down the filament coming out of the hot end whenever I'm actually making the filament come or trying to melt the filament to make, well, trying to melt the bottle to make the filament come out. So then that will cool the filament. I just turn back on. <laughs> 116. Anyway, um so when the not when the bottle is being melted and turned into filament coming out of the nozzle here, then I will have a fan cooling down the filament that is coming out of the nozzle just to make sure that it's actually making filament. And then I'll be having a motor, most likely my windshield wiper motor that I had bought that I was talking about in the other videos. I'll be using that because it's basically a geared motor. So then that will pull the filament out instead of actually needing like a stepper motor or anything to push it through like a 3D printer. So it'll be pulling the filament using the motor and then make it, rolling it up on a spool of its own. And then I will have my own filament. And then I can use that to 3D print with. And it just turned back on. 117, 116. So it just keeps on turning on and off. But that's good. So it's going to keep the ambient temperature. So that way it can melt the plastic bottle. Anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. Please like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.